Hello and welcome to Someka Financial Model Template for mobile applications. This tool lets you to make feasible studies and financial calculations for your mobile app business. Whether you are a brand new startup or an existing company just expanding your business model, you will need to calculate lots of things beforehand and this Excel template is built to ease this process with lots of features which we will just see. Okay, let's see how it works now. This is the navigation and the settings dash dashboard of the template. This section above is used for easy navigation throughout the template and this section below is used for settings. Let's start with the navigation section. Basically, our model follows a widely used standard for financial projections. You make the inputs and see the outputs accordingly. Blue parts are where you make revenue inputs and red parts are where you make your cost related inputs. And in the green parts, you will see the expected results according to your inputs. Before going into the details of these sections, let's quickly check the settings part as well. These four blocks here are used to input your parameters, which will be used in the model. As you will see later on, you only type in here, like the new app, and this value will appear accordingly in the input sections, like this. Why we do it? like this and uh, why don't we just uh, let you input the values in the uh, input section because this is important to ensure the same text are used everywhere in the model to prevent data discrepancies. In this model configuration here you can change the projection years from 1 to 5 years and all reports and calculations will be uploaded accordingly and you can also change the start date and the currency here. And you also have the ability to show the instructions here and you can take a look at this when you want to get some help on the tool. Let's hide it for now and check the navigation section. Okay, first is revenue input, revenue model inputs. Our model follows the latest business models for mobile applications. Your mobile app can generate revenue with many different methods and you can only have one of them or multiple of these revenue methods together. The first one is the paper download. In this section, you select your expected download units for each product and platform, and you also input prices for each of them. Please note that even for some of my free, down, free to download apps like these, I input the download units, uh, download unit projections in order to calculate the user base, which we will just see in the second section. Um, normally these regions should be enough uh, for a typical mobile app business, but if you want to input more combinations, you can just expand the region like here and input as many as you like. Okay, the white regions, uh, you can you also note that white regions are where you make your inputs and the gray, blue regions have formulations to make uh, the automatic calculations like this. Uh, the units and the prices are being multiplied and the downloads revenue for each product and platform combination is being calculated here. Okay, now let's go back to dashboard and uh, check the user base. Before going into details of uh, the other revenue methods like the ads and unit purchases, we are going to check the user base because the user base is closely related to downloads. Okay, in this section we see how our user base is going to grow according to the download projections we have inputted in section one. So here we input average retention rate for each app platform combination. As you may already know, retention rate is a metric which shows the percentage of your users who still use your app one month after download. For example, 80% means here that if 100 people downloaded your app the previous month, the 8 of them will be using your app in the next month. But of course, new users will download your app meanwhile, so this is a bit complicated to manually calculate your growing user base, but the template does the job for you. This second uh, table um, can be micromanaged to change some of the uh, amount of retention, retention rate of these combinations. We do not recommend to go that much detail, but if you want, you can change these like the 60%. I you can think that this could be 50% like this, but normally these are being calculated automatically according to the, these rates you enter here. Okay, in the last table, as I mentioned, we will see how our user base grows like explained before. Okay, now let's go back and see the other, other revenue methods. Okay, third section is the ads income model. 
In the end, ads income model is another revenue method for some mobile app developers. And in this section, you can either choose to have ads for some of your apps or not. For example, you can choose to include ads for this application or not. And you can choose uh, for all of them. You know, this is independent from the download price. You can still have a paper download application like this one and, uh, and offer ads in it, which is not so common though. So you will select um, if this application includes ads and you are going to input the sessions for month for a typical user, the average minutes per session, ad impressions per minute and average cost per thousand impressions. This is the price the, at the moment US dollars. And we have inputted some average values here, but you can change, change them to fit your own model. And after we uh, input these information, the monthly ad revenue per user will be calculated. This is also the financial amount. This is the US dollars. And uh, this value will be multiplied with the projected user base, which is uh, calculated in the section two. So when we calculate our active users and with these parameters here, we are going to have the ads revenue. The tool will calculate our ads revenue automatically. Okay, now let's go back and check the in-app purchases. You may want to sell some in-app items in your mobile application. Nowadays, and mobile app, app publishers use this method vastly. They offer free to download apps and offer in-app purchases. Just like download table here, you input your projected sellout units for each item and the prices for each item and the in-app items revenue will be calculated automatically. Uh, please. Don't forget that these are being selected from a uh, drop downs and you input selections here. So if I enter a new item here, it will appear in my drop downs and I will be able to select it. So let's delete it for now and check the subscriptions. The subscriptions work in the same way as the other sections. If you offer subscription for some of your apps, for example, we are offering subscription for a maps application. Um, you are going to input the prices of your uh, subscription packages and uh, you can input the paying subscribers uh, as a units here and subscription revenue will be calculated uh, simply with the multiplication. And we have the last section from the revenue model inputs as a other revenue. Even though we cover almost all standard revenue models, some publishers may have some non-standard revenue streams for their business. For example, you may be collecting donations uh, for some of your apps or affiliate uh, payments or other types of non-standard revenues and they are going to be inputted here. Uh, these are just like seem like a normal numbers, but we know that our currency is US dollars. You can change it to anything you like. Now let's check quickly the cost inputs as well. Basically, in a financial model, we do have the three different costs, the variable costs, the fixed costs and startup costs. Let's quickly check each of them. The first one, the variable costs. And the variable costs are type of costs which do change with the amount of activity your apps and such as platform commissions, the affiliate bonuses and so on. But one of the most important variable costs for a mobile app publisher is the platform commissions, of course, which you can define here. You make a percentage input here for each platform and they will be deducted automatically from the revenues you make. Some platforms do not take commissions from ads revenue, so we have separated them, and you can input a different value here if you want, or you can make it the same with the uh, all sales commissions as well. Okay, we have three different variable costs as well in this section. The cost per download, the cost per active user, and cost per paying subscriber. For example, you may be paying an acquisition cost for each download your application receives. This can be an advertisement, an affiliated company or whatever. When you input like 10 cents for a navigation app which is being downloaded in Google Play, this will be simply multiplied with the download units you projected in the download sections. For example, we have inputted 250 for navigation app in Google Play and it will be multiplied with the variable cost of 10 cents and we will have a $25 cost uh, for navigation app for Google Play platform. Others work in a similar way for active users and the subscribers as well. Okay, that's it for variable costs. 
let's go back to dashboard and see the fixed costs. Actually, fixed costs are much more quite straightforward uh, uh, when compared to the variable costs. And these are the type of costs which do not change with the amount of F activities. These are paid regardless of, regardless of any revenue, downloads or subscribers. There are two main sections here, the salaries and other monthly expenses. And the salaries are inputted monthly. Please note that these include all costs to the company, including bonuses, tax and so on. We don't go into tax details here as it is unnecessary at a visible study like this. As you note that here you can have some employees start later on and their costs will be applied accordingly. This is especially important when trying to catch the break even in early stages of your application business model. And here, the other sections is the monthly expenses where you simply input your office rent, then hosting and utility bills and so on. Also note that the membership uh, fees are also entered here for each month or each year as you wish. And the last section in our cost inputs is the startup cost. Here you simply input your expenses when your business made before starting these operations. So basically these costs will be recorded one month before the start date and will affect your break-even analysis. Please note that for the sake of simplicity, we ignore the amortization and the depreciation in the break-even analysis. So if you have a significant amount of fixed assets here and want to include depreciation, uh, just put them as a revenue in other revenue here, or you can deduct them from monthly expenses uh, in the fixed cost here. You can just deduct those values from these uh, cost amounts. Okay, we have finished checking all input fields and now, now let's see the outputs of our uh, values. So first is the financial statement section. Here, three main statements are formed, which are the profit and loss statement, uh, and income statement as the other name, and the balance sheet and the cash flow statement. Uh, we are not going to go into details here, for financial statements, but please note that the gray regions with the blue text on them uh, are calculated and retrieved automatically from your inputs, such as revenues, the costs, and so on. And the white regions are here where you can input your, as you want to complete your financial statement. And this is the same for the balance sheet and cash flow statement as well. Okay, another important report is the break-even analysis. And here we see when we pay out our initial costs and start profiting. For example, in our dummy example, uh, in our template now, we see that it takes almost like 16 quarters, almost four years to cover our initial costs and start profiting. Okay, let's go back and increase our paper download price because the four years uh, is too much and too long. So we want to start profit, profiting earlier. I go back to download prices. I can change any other revenue stream but this is the easiest for now. I change this to like $30, which is uh, a bit unreasonable because this is a bit high for an application. And most probably if you increase this uh, value like that, your download units will drop down. But for the example purposes, like keep it like this. And I'm going to update the reports now and see the effect of it. Okay, now it takes around like one and a half year, which is acceptable. Note that this is a pivot table and you can uh, change the parameters as you like. For example, I can remove the quarters and I may want to see it per monthly. Uh, I want to see the monthly trend like this. And it takes like, as we said, like 20, 21 months to cover the initial cost. Or I can see it per year like this. If you know a little bit how to play with the pivot table, this will be quite useful for you. We also have many more reports which flex the results of uh, our inputs. For example, the profits report, uh, which gives us the breakdown of our revenues, the costs, the fixed costs, and so on. And we will have the earnings before the interest tax, depreciation, and amortization. This is the net profit uh, per month. And this is the same, you can change it from month to quarter as well, or to the year. And download support gives us the download details per application and per uh, platform. And 
per year and you can change it. The revenue details gives us the amount we have earned for each application. For example, the navigation app uh, is a paper download app and we don't get any ads revenue from it, but we gain a lot of downloads revenue. And a navigation app light is the light version of it, which does not uh, force the users, charge the users for download, but earn with ad uh, advertisements in it and like that. You can see the details in this report. And the commissions report shows us the platform commissions in detail, which is quite important for um, app developers. And the salary report shows the yearly trend of our uh, projected employees. Okay, I think we have covered everything. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check our other templates at www.somecard.net. Thank you.